the amount of textile waste is increasing and harms the environment. Only 1% of textiles is recycled in a closed loop. One reason why textiles are not recycled in a closed loop is because of poor product design. The European Science Hub estimates that about 80% of the product-related environmental impact is already defined in the designing and engineering stage. This means designers have a huge responsibility. So if we design a product already in the beginning to be circular, it would have a big positive leverage effect for the environment, the society and the economy. Welcome to our TEDx talk, Make It Circular. With me today is Andrea Weber Hansen. She's very passionate about textiles by her heritage. Her dad and granddad used to work in the textile business, and she's an environmental scientist at the Lucerne University of Applied Science and Arts. And with me, Joel Hügli, he's a dedicated product designer and engaged in mattress recycling in his master thesis. And our research group deals with solu solutions for circularity in textiles. Why? 97% of virgin feedstock is used to produce textile garments. 60% is plastics, mostly polyester, which is non-renewable and it's oil-based resource. Then we have a share of cotton, which is renewable resource, but water intensive in production. The mean time of usage of a textile garment is 2.2 years. And after that, the garment is discarded, landfilled, incinerated, and new virgin material is used. We think this does not make any sense. So we in the product and textiles research group are working to enable textiles to be used for as long as possible. We want to avoid waste textile in incineration and unecological material use at all costs. So we try to promote, with our work, we try to promote the cascading use of textiles. This means we want to encourage end users and the industry to reuse, remanufacture and recycle more. So that the vision of a fair and sustainable textile world becomes more realistic step by step. So we will deep dive with you into three research projects. The first one is about upcycling of post-consumer waste. The second one is prolonging the lifespan of a textile by remanufacturing strategies. And the third one is closing the loop for polyester textiles by monomaterial design. So the first project I want to show you is called Tech Circle. Over a period of two years, we worked together with the Swiss industry and searched and found some fibre-to-fibre -fiber mechanical recycling solutions and applications for the already mentioned post-consumer textiles. Like our old garments, like the garments you can, old clothes you can see in the plastic bag, and obviously also the old wool coats you can see in the photo. So within a cluster of Swiss industry partners, we tried to find possible material flows and the recycling solutions. This means we try to connect the dots, who has which waste material and who can use the waste material in which way. So in the end, we created, tested and investigated six possible product concepts. You can read the process in the vertical axis. For example, the process on the far the, the, for example, the line on the far right, the, at the top you can see the old baker trousers, which Andrea is holding in her hands. We used those baker trousers and teared them apart. There we got some new tear fibers, we mixed them with other fibers and got a recycling blend. And with this recycled fiber blend, we created a new yarn and the yarn in the end, we used it to create new socks at the facility of one of our industrial partners. And the socks are actually the ones I'm wearing myself right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Recycling is not the only solution. It makes sense to prolong the lifespan of textile materials as long as possible. One strategy to do this is remanufacturing. So in this project, we created a concept for a smart factory which enables existing textiles with different design options. By updating the styles, um, the textile can have a longer lifespan and a second and a third, maybe a fourth life. And the material will last longer than just 2.2 years. You see here a collaborative robot um, which is able to do design interventions which is controlled by a designer or a customer by a virtual interface. There is a pen that is applied. It could be some other module, like an embroidery module, like a color spray, or like a 3D printer. And what I'm wearing right now is one of the prototypes. You may see the textile 3D print on this. This is one of my skirts that has been in the closet for a long time, uh, but the material is fine, the fit is fine, and with this upgrade, it's got a new life, and it's one of my favorite pieces now. The last project I want to introduce you to is 3D printing textile waste. As already mentioned in the beginning of the presentation, designers have a huge impact on a product's life cycle. So the 3D printing, printing textile waste project was about designing textile products smarter, so they are suitable for a high-quality closed-loop mechanical, uh, chemical recycling process. So that means that we can maintain the material quality, although we circulate it over and over again. To do this, we wanted to follow the single material strategy. In other words, a mono-material strategy. So we took old polyester garments, processed them into granulate, and use this granulate to create applications for textiles which are made out of the same material as the textile itself. To make this whole strategy a bit more tangible, I want to show you a backpack that we manufactured during the research project. So the textiles here are all made out of, te out, out of textiles, obviously, and are all made out of polyester. And all the small applications, like the clips or the reinforcement on the bottom, are directly 3D printed on the textile itself and are made out of polyester as well. So in theory, at the end of its product life, this backpack can be circulated and recycled over and over again. Sustainability is not just a topic in research, but also education. Textile designers come up with solutions and designs for second, third life, design for recycling. This example is work by Giulio. He picked a discarded pullover, you see it on this side, that inspired him for a new textile design that was knitted and by upgrading this product, it got a second life, as good as new or even better. So there is a lot to do. And we can act on this together by reducing our consumption, by reusing textile materials as long as possible, by looking for solutions for repair and for remanufacturing, and helping us make textiles more circular. Thank you very much and greetings from our team at the Luzerne Spin Lab. <laughs>